Listeners who didn't wish to hear about such things should turn off their radios. This is a journey into sound. See that you do not look down on one of these little ones. For I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. What do you think? If a man owns a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hills and go look for the one that wandered off? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me. I have found my lost sheep. I tell you the truth, that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. In the same way, your Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should be lost. And whoever welcomes a little child like this in my name, welcomes me. But if anyone causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a large millstone hung around his neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I myself will search for my sheep and look after them. As a shepherd looks after his scattered flock when he is with them, so will I look after my sheep. I will rescue them from all places where they were scattered on the day of clouds and darkness. I will search for the lost and bring back the strays. I will bind up the injured and strengthen the weak, but the sleek and the strong I will destroy. You are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture. You are my people, and I am your God. I will surely gather all of you, O Jacob. I will surely bring you together, the remnant of Israel. I will bring them together like sheep in a pen, like a flock in its pasture. The place will throng with people. See that you do not look down on one of these little ones. For I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. What do you think? If a man owns a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hills and go look for the one that wandered off? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me! I have found my lost sheep. I tell you the truth, that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. In the same way, your Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should be lost. This is a journey into sound. Listeners who didn't wish to hear about such things should turn off their radio. This is a journey into sound. If anyone causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a large millstone hung around his neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. But this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I myself will search for my sheep and look after them as a shepherd looks after his scattered flock when he is with them, so will I look after my sheep. I will rescue them from all places where they were scattered on the day of clouds and darkness. I will search for the lost and bring back the strays. I will bind up the injured and strengthen the weak, but the sleek and the strong I will destroy. You are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture. You are my people. I am your God. I will surely gather all of you, O Jacob. I will surely bring you together, the remnant of Israel. I will bring them together like sheep in a pen, like a flock in its pasture. The place will throng with people. If anyone causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a large millstone hung around his neck 
and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I myself will search for my sheep and look after them. As a shepherd looks after his scattered flock when he is with them, so will I look after my sheep. I will rescue them from all places where they were scattered on the day of clouds and darkness. I will search for the lost and bring back the strays. I will bind up the injured and strengthen the weak, but the sleek and the strong I will destroy. You are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture. You are my people, and I'm your God. I will surely gather all of you, O Jacob. I will surely bring you together, the remnant of Israel. I will bring them together like sheep in a pen, like a flock in its pasture. The place will throng with people. He tends his flocks like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, or with the breath of his hand marked off the heavens? My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. about such things should turn off their radio. I'm the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of the sheep pen. I must bring them also. I will surely gather all of